So on Monday of this week, us district judge Carl Nichols told the one America news network that no, I am not going to allow you to escape the defamation lawsuit filed against you from dominion voting systems, which of course is similar to judge Carl Nichols ruling from June, where he told one America news network that no, I'm not allow, uh, gonna allow you to escape the lawsuit filed against you by Smartmatic. So twice since this summer, now one America, the struggling conservative media outlet that is not on any major carriers in the United States anymore was told you have to face the music for the lies that you allegedly spread. Now we say allegedly, as everybody knows, cause they haven't been found guilty of anything yet. They haven't had any judgments against them. So you can't say they did spread lies. You have to say allegedly or else we get sued for defamation. So now one America, like so many other people and outlets is going to have to face the music for allowing election lies to, uh, promulgate the airwaves. And here's what's fun about this. Forbes actually put together a wonderful list of all of the people being sued by all of the voting machine companies. You have one America being sued by dominion. One America being sued by Smartmatic. Mike Lindell, my pillow CEO being sued by Smartmatic. Mike Lindell being sued by dominion. Sydney Powell being sued by dominion. Sydney Powell being sued by Smartmatic. Rudy Giuliani for uh, sued by dominion. Rudy Giuliani sued by Smartmatic, Fox News sued by Dominion, uh, Fox News sued by Smartmatic, the Fox Corporation sued by Dominion, Newsmax sued by Dominion, Newsmax sued by Smartmatic, and Patrick Byrne, the former Overstock CEO, also sued by Dominion. That's a lot of defamation lawsuits, and that is a lot of money that all of these, well, these two companies really dominion and smartmatic, that's a lot of money they stand to make off of all of these lawsuits that they're probably going to win most of them. If not all of them, <laughs> the evidence is crystal clear. The only problem, however, is that most of these lawsuits, we're not going to have any resolution to possibly for the next two years. The first one that is coming up, however, is the uh, lawsuit from Dominion against Fox News. That's gonna start in April of 2023. So April of next year, everything else is likely gonna be in 2024 and 2025, which means these people who spread lies about the 2020 election won't have to go on trial for it till after the next presidential election, most likely. Part of the reason I, I will say, you know, this is not just because the courts are stupid and slow. Sometimes they are a lot, but not, not necessarily here. Part of the reason is because of court incidents. Like what happened this week, Dominion was once again, filing an appeal, trying to get the case dismissed. And every time they do that, and they know this by the way, which is why they do it. It pushes things back. You know, it prolongs the discovery period because you can't do anything while they're trying to get it dismissed. Uh, Fox news has pretty much exhausted all of their appeals, um, and attempts to get it dismissed. They are in the discovery phase, which of course is how dominion has all these lawsuits from the Fox higher ups. The other folks of course have failed. Giuliani Powell and Mike Lindell have failed to get the lawsuits dismissed. Some of those of course have been combined. It's a very confusing thing legally that is happening, but rest assured these individuals are going to have to pay through the nose, not just for their lawyers, but also because I don't think they stand a snowball's chance in hell of actually winning any of these cases. Fox news might prevail just because they have a good track record with it. Newsmax, possibly the rest of these yahoos not going to happen. And if one America gets hit the way that dominion and Smartmatic are trying to hit them for, you know, a billion dollars, they're done. Same thing with Mike Lindell and my pillow and my coffee and my slippers and whatever my products he has out now, he'd be done. That would be the end of it. He would be forced to liquidate his company in order to pay off these lawsuits. Powell and Giuliani obviously do not have the cash on hand to pay for this. So I don't know how they would be able to compensate when they lose, but there's going to be a lot of financial distress for some of the worst people in this country. 
And there isn't a single part of me that feels bad for them for that. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.